Hey, <laughs> it's your boy, E Hood. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? It's your boy, E Hood. I'm out here doing me a little old stroll. You understand me? Just doing a little stroll. Yeah, I mean, doing a little stroll on on this here uh, Memorial Day. Memorial Day. So, wanna wanna see how everybody is doing on this here Memorial Day weekend. And plus, I wanna speak speak to you for a few minutes about the power of the spoken word that we speak. The power of the spoken word that we speak. You know. You know, now when you look in Genesis, right, you will see from Genesis chapter 1, from the beginning, <laughs> the Bible said, God spoke, God said, God spoke, God said. Then it said, God saw, and it came, and God saw, and, and he was pleased. So, you know, God has set up a pattern for us. God has set up a pattern from the beginning in Genesis for us that in order for things to manifest in our life, we have to speak Jesus Christ. We have to speak the spoken word that we speak, and we have to believe it by faith. You know, the scripture speaks about over in Mark 11, verse 23, the scripture said, and Jesus, God in the flesh, he said, when you stand praying, believe, believe, that you receive, and it shall be done to you. So he said, pray, pray, and you got to believe it. So see, when we speak these words, we got to believe these words has already, Lord, have mercy, <laughs> has already come to pass in our life. We got to speak these things. You know, see, cause, cause see, the thing is, whatever we speak and we believe, it's, it's going to happen. So see, so whether you speak prosperity in your life or whether you speak lack in your life, and if you're doing it by faith, it's going to happen. Whichever one, doesn't matter. <laughs> because cause it's a law. It's a law of the spoken word. It's a law. It's a law of the spoken word. It's simple as that. It's as simple as that. So, so now, so, so now, this is why the Bible says, over in Proverbs, that life and death is in the power of the tongue. And watch what else it, it says. And it says, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So whatever you speak, and speak it by faith, you're going to eat the fruit of it. Whether, watch this here, it be life. <laughs> Or whether it be death. So now, so so now see, so what we do is we make this thing personal cause 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 see cause cause now we can see in our own life what have we been speaking because whatever we've been speaking, it has already manifested in our life. Boy, I'm talking to myself right about this in a moment. This is why we got to really watch what we say out our mouth, mainly about ourselves. This is why Apostle Paul speaks about, over oh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, when he speaks about to desire all the spiritual gifts, but the main one is to desire prophecy. And he speaks about prophecy because all prophecy is is speaking the word of God over your life. Man. So this is why we got to really tap into tap into this ill word. Hey, hey, what's going on? This is why we got to tap into this ill word so so that we can speak God's will, God's plan, God's purpose that he has proclaimed, prophesied, decreed, and declared over our life. This is why we got to get in the scriptures so we can know what his word is for our life so that our minds can be transformed so that we can repent, change the way we think not only about God but but, but about ourselves. Because a lot of us, 
we spoke doom into our own life. We spoke lack into our own life. We spoke misery into our own life. We spoke this foolishness. But now is the time to repent, change the way we think about ourselves and go to speaking the spoken. It's power, boy, in the spoken word. It's power in the spoken word that we speak. This is why the scripture says that where the word of a king is, what I got happy, there's power. Where the word of a king is. See, and we have been called kings and priests over in First Peter. We have been called kings and priests. And God has given us the ability, us, the mankind, the ability to speak his word. This is why he told Adam over in Genesis 3, he said, whatever you call the animals, boy, <laughs> Hmm. That's what they're going to be. This is why we, we got to watch what we say about us. About us. How do you feel about you? I don't care how it look, but see, we have the power. Boy, when I found this here, our boy, it made me happy. We have the power to speak our life, watch this here, into a whole nother level. Boy, who jeez, that'll make a dead person shout. We have the power to speak our life into a whole nother level. Lord Jesus Christ. And we can speak. I'm blessed. I'm highly favored. I walk in the blessings of God. I'm, I'm not only being healed, but I walk in divine health. Everywhere my foot tread upon, I possess. Wealth and riches are in my house. These are the things that God has spoken over our life. Well, see, the only way you would know this here, <laughs> you got to get in the scriptures so that your mind can be renewed. See, the scripture says over in Romans 12, 1, 1 and 2, it says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Watch this here. By the renewing of your mind, Lord. Watch it. And, and it also goes on to say that you may know and prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The Amplified says the good and acceptable and perfect will of God for your life. Boy, that's, that's powerful. That's powerful. So see, so on this Memorial Day, <clears throat> Make a decree and a memorial to come against all ungodly spoken words that you have spoken over your own life. Make a decree to bang them devils and give them a and give them a serious memorial. Devil, this is a memorial. I will no longer speak lack over my life. I will no longer speak misery over my life. I will no longer speak poverty over my life. I will no longer speak division, backbiting. I will no longer speak sickness over my life. Jesus. <laughs> but I will speak prosperity in every area of my life. I will speak divine health over my life in every area. Favor is my portion. See, the scripture speaks about over in Luke 2. <clears throat> the Bible said, Jesus said, Fear not, little flock. Watch this. It is your father's <laughs> good pleasure. Lord, have mercy. They give you the kingdom. See, 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 it's God's good pleasure. Not just his pleasure, but it's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom. What is the kingdom? The kingdom is wholeness. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Everything whole. No lack. No lack. No lack. We have the power to speak over our lives. And, and, and watch this here. This power is given to anybody. Not just folks who confess Jesus. <laughs> no, this is a law <laughs> that works for anybody going to work it. You ain't got to believe in Jesus for this one here. I, I, I know that thing just, just knocked a whole bunch of religious from broke. <laughs> That's a law. 
anybody can use that one. You got folk, folks who ain't thinking about God that confess greatness in their lives and it manifests and it manifests because they believe it and that word is going to move by faith. So this your boy E. Hood. Let's come on here. Give you a little something as far as from this point on, speak greatness over your life. Speak power over your life. Speak it over your life. Speak that over your life. So I'll be talking with you. Enjoy your holiday. And remember, power, the spoken word we speak. It's your boy, he hood. I'm out. Peace.